My name is Steve from Pudge AGS. Uh, this is a short video, uh, simple way of adjusting your tappets on the AJS DD125 EOS, uh, Daytona uh, and a bobber. Um, at the moment I'm working on a bobber, I'm just doing a PDI. So uh, I've got it all stripped down, uh, rocker covers off. So this is just a really quick and simple way for you to see. All you're going to need obviously is your, is your tools to take everything apart on this side of it. You're going to need a feeder gauge and then you, it's a 0.15 okay and I have a, a tool that I use which is you can do it with a 9mm um, spanner if you've got a 9mm spanner but this is an actual tool with adjusters in it it just comes apart and basically it just clicks onto there onto the nut it, we undo the nut if we need adjusting and then the top bit which is this bit here locates into there which opens and closes the gap from where the feeder gauge you're going to go right but first of all we need to make sure that it's top dead center so we if you look at this little um if i can get a torch if you look here you can just see if i can get that to focus in just there there's a little little bit stick missing there you can see that there i'm not going to get technical just like i said it's supposed to be simple now that's facing backwards if you're facing it now if that's facing backwards Okay, that means we're going to work on the left hand side. So this is the left hand side. So I'm going to try and do this, put a torch there. So basically what we're doing is we're getting the feeder gauges and we're going to slide them in between this bit here, if you can see that in there. Now I've just done these, so at 0 0.15 it should be quite, yep, which it is, look, you can see that's, it's gripping it a bit. Now if I had to adjust it, all I'd be doing if I can get this back in focus, is I'd be undoing the 9mm just a little bit, only a little bit, and then using that, that, that top bit that you can see now, you're just going to move that anti-clockwise, and that undoes it, and then you put your feeder gauge in, and then do it up clockwise until you feel that actually just gripping hold of it. You don't want it too loose, and you don't want it too tight, so you can see the movement now. Once you've done that, you nip it up, and then just check it again, and then you go around to this side here, and you're going to do exactly the same okay now to move on to the other side okay what we're going to do is this is like i said this is the simple bit if i can get this lined up now you can see that the cut out on there is facing backwards so we're going to turn now with this so i'm just going to turn this around anti-clockwise and then you'll see that that's going to move okay it's going to face forward And then it should just dive in it should fall in itself like so very important to check now that it's a top dead center we should look in here if i can find it we should have oh hang on there you go you can see the line is going straight up so that's top dead okay and that means that we can do that side there and we do exactly the same I always give them a little um, pull and you can sort of feel if there's any movement in them I've done these ones but that's as simple as it gets once you're all done just make sure everything's nice and tight give it another check and uh, wrap it all up put everything away I hope that helps it's a nice simple way of doing your tappets cheers